Going into Poke Rogue, I had never played a roguelike before. I never played The Binding of Isaac, Hades, Enter the Gungeon, nor many others. All I knew about roguelikes were that they were procedurally generated dungeon crawlers and that when the player dies, they have to start all over. And even with that in mind, nothing could have prepared me for what I was about to face. This was my first attempt at Poke Rogue and my first ever roguelike experience. From this screen, you can select your starters. These are your initial party members. Each starter has a value. Your party can have up to six members as long as the total does not exceed 10. Oh, and you can choose all the different gens. I have decision paralysis right now. So I think I'm gonna pick Fue Coco. Then we'll pick our water starter, which I think has to be Mudkip. And then I think just because you guys really want me to pick either Turtwig or Chikorita, we'll pick one of those. All right, all right, we'll go with Turtwig. All right, let's just go in. All right, Blipbug, dead, deceased. Now what? <laughs> After every battle, you are given a choice of three random items. These range from consumables to Pokemon held items to passive permanent items. You can purchase consumable items with money and a larger variety will be available the further you get. Be sure to buy these before you pick your random item as it will progress to the next battle once you do. Okay, and Pokemon, this is how you swap? Oh, you can release here. Okay, so you only have a team of six Pokemon then. Like, there's no PC or anything, so if you catch something, then you are basically dedicating yourself to keeping it. After cruising through the first few floors, I met the rival of this game, Ivy. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you! Did you forget to say goodbye to your best friend? You're going after your dream, huh? That day is really today, isn't it? Anyway, I'll forgive you for forgetting me, but on one condition, you have to battle me! Rival Ivy sent out a chess pin. Okay get obliterated interesting all right and rookie d ow rude oh and even tells you when blaze is active okay that's cool you just started and you're already this strong you totally cheated didn't you just kidding i lost fair and square i have a feeling you're gonna do really well out there 250 bucks a super exp charm you received an xp all oh, there we go i wanted that because i was like oh do we really have to swap our pokemon in and out every single time but no we don't have to oh look it's your oh it's a boss um, well, we're definitely going to go into play Coco for this. Oh, pff, poor thing! The level cap has increased to 16. Oh, a level cap is in implemented. After catching a few blood sacrifices to keep my starters safe in the future, this happened. Oh, it's Cress! That is correct. It shall be I and my esteemed water types that you must face in battle. Okay, Basculin. Oh, we don't even get a chance to swap. Okay. We need to absorb... Wow, that does nothing. Oh, withdrew Basculin to Panpour. Oh, crit! We're gonna be just dandy. And now, sends out Basculin again. Oh, that flail did a lot of damage, but it's fine. It's fine. We're okay. Egg Voucher plus Defeat Crest. So an Egg Voucher. Egg gotcha. From this screen, you can redeem your vouchers for Pokemon eggs. Eggs have to be hatched and get closer to hatching after every battle. Rare eggs take longer to hatch. This is a really cool game, by the way. Hatch Pokemon also won't be added to your party. They will be added to your starters. If I lose, does that take me all the way back to the selection screen? And then those starters, new Pokemon start popping up after I die. So as I collect and collect and collect, I get more options to start with. So I cranked the shiny gotcha machine, got a couple of eggs, and they'll hatch as I proceed through the game. Oh, quick thing. If you're enjoying the video, then subscribe to the channel for more videos coming up in the future and follow my Twitch so you can see all my challenges and shenanigans live. Thanks. Fue Coco evolved into Crocolore, Mudkip evolved into Marshtomp, and I was ready to face Ivy once again. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Looks like you're still undefeated. Huh, not bad. I know what you're thinking, and no, I wasn't creeping on you. I just happened to be here in the area. In any case, I've been training hard for a rematch, so you'd better give it your all. 
Also, ow. No, don't flinch me. Get blazed. Oh, and Turtwig is evolving mid-battle? Oh, that's interesting. Because in the regular Pokemon games, you don't evolve mid-battle. This is so anime. I gotta say, I really love these sprites. I haven't played any Pokemon ROM hacks yet, so I don't know what a lot of the sprites look in, like, Radical Red and whatnot. I'm assuming some of these sprites are from those games. They look fantastic. Oh. Um, blood sacrifice. Or not a blood sacrifice, actually. Let's defense curl rollout. Go. Boost our damage. Boom. One more. One more bib barrel. Let's go, bib barrel. Yes. That's my god, bib barrel. Now, <laughs> level 15 bib barrel just killed me. <laughs> I. Wasn't supposed to lose that time. Oh, well, that just means I'll have to train even harder for next time. Keep at it. I love the sprite work. It's adorable. After hatching some of my common eggs, I proceeded to the caves when I found this. Oh, that's a knackle stack. I want, I want, I want now. It was a good thing that I caught this because it has access to Salt Cure, an incredibly powerful move, which will become very important later. With all three of my starters now fully evolved, it was time for my next gym. It's Brock. Allow me to show you the true strength of my Pokemon. Dun, dun, dun. Jesus, the poor thing just got annihilated into the next dimension. Yeah, Swampert holds no prisoners. Swampert's just a, an amazing Pokemon. There are only two truly scary trainers. Interesting. And they are both my wives. Well, I haven't met one of them yet then. Perhaps I should go back to pursuing my dream as a Pokemon breeder. Got 2,000 bucks? We almost got 10k, baby? Badlands or beach? I'm gonna go Badlands. Oh, look, it's her again. Long time no see. Still have been lost, huh? You're starting to get on my nerves. Just kidding. But really, don't you miss home by now? Or me? I, I mean, we really missed you. I support you in your dream and everything, but the reality is you're going to lose sooner or later. And when you do, I'll be there for you like always. Now, let me show you how strong I've become. Chestnut to a fire type fight. Torch song. Oh, she withdrew. No, the flash fire. Oh, wait, never mind. It's not flash fired. Oh, no, it is flash fired. <laughs> All right, send out the Swampert, and then just water... Oh. God damn you and your Switch gaming. All right, this time we're going to go into Skeledurge. We're going to go Shadow Ball this time. I'm going to game the system. Got him! Ha! Knackle Stack, Stealth Rock. I'm not sure how good that is in this kind of environment. I mean, they do swap a lot. If they're at a disadvantage, they will swap. So if you put out Stealth Rocks first, that'd be pretty good. Let's get her a headbutt. I don't know what this thing has. I'm just going with the with the with the groove. Corvin Knight! I'm glad I kept Skeletor alive. Yeah, Torch Song. Yes! Let's go. Got him! We're gonna swap out into the barrel. Oh, and look, at Dragon Tails now. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Great. I was going to swap out anyway. <laughs> dragon Tails, Dragon Tails. It's almost time for Dragon Tails. Adrian invented Dragon Tails. SMH, he's that old. <laughs> what was the thing I would always say whenever they, like, got the Dragon Scale? I'm trying to remember. I wish, I wish, with all my heart, to fly with dragons in a land apart. Boom. All right, GG. After all that, it wasn't enough. You'll never come back at this rate. I can't believe you remembered that. Of course I remembered that. It's it, it's baked into my very bone. Also, not gonna lie, despite the fact that I'm completely blind in this, I'm not sure how tough of a time this is for people, but I think we're doing pretty good. I'm not having a difficult time with this, Adrian Floor 57. I'm framing this quote. <laughs> Uh, ooh! Oh, I can't catch that. <laughs> you can catch it? You just need to weaken it first. Great ball. Let's not use all my Ultra Balls. Hey, let's go. We got a boss. And we're definitely going to get rid of Bibero. We do not need this guy anymore. I'm sorry, Bibero, but goodbye. Having a flying type Pokemon? Mm. Desert or mountain? We already have so many ground types. Desert just screams ground type Pokemon to me. So we're going to go to the mountain. Yes! The moment I heard Mountain, I wanted it to be Mount Horn OST. I love this soundtrack so much. Yeah, I figured that Mountain would be birds. And buff men. 
found a buff man out in the wild. Now, full transparency, I was a little bit late to playing this game, and my chat got a bit too excited to talk about it, and spoiled a few things for me. They said I wouldn't be able to beat floors 145 or 195 on my first try, and that there was a Rayquaza somewhere in the game. They didn't tell me why the fights were hard, or where Rayquaza would be, so I tried my best not to think about it too much. After destroying the floor 70 boss, I called it my first day on my first roguelike adventure. Day 2. My second day of Poke Rogue started pretty well as I hatched my first epic eggs and then completely destroyed floor 70 through 90 before facing my first real challenge of the run. It's me! You didn't forget about me again, did you? You should be proud of how far you made it. Congrats! But it looks like it's the end of your journey. You've awoken something in me I never knew was there. It seems like all I do now is train. I hardly ever eat or sleep now. I just train my Pokemon all day, getting stronger every time. In fact, I hardly recognize myself. And you know what? It's all because of you. I don't know whether to thank you or hate you. Prepare yourself. Ooh, and music. Uh, what's that? I'm scared. Oh, Terra. Oh, <laughs> oh, poor Corviknight. I swapped out at the right time. Ooh. That's a Garchomp, people. Gonna go into Altaria. We're gonna go with Moonblast. Yeah, Corviknight, rude. The swapping hurts my soul. All right, so how do I outsmart you? I am going to go for Shadow Ball. Oh, Melodic, okay, that's fine. Ooh, that's massive damage. So then I'm going to swap in Torterra. Hydro Pump, that's... I no longer have any super effective moves to water. I guess we'll go into Altaria. We'll Moonblast. Oh. Damn you. All right, back into Skeledurge. I think I Snarl here, right? Because now I'll lower the Melodic special attack. Oh, it swaps out in the Garchomp again? Are you kidding me? I mean, I have to make sure that you don't go for a Flying-type move. All right, well, we gotta go for Crab Hammer because we're in the rain. Yeah, that's fine by me. Cool, good, good. Well, I'm just gonna Crab Hammer again. Get out of my sight. All right, Melodic's out next, right? Yeah, I figured as much. I think Altaria's my best solution. Oh, we miss! Yes, that's really good for us. Moonblast again. You don't have Corviknight this time. Lower your special attack. Yes! All right, so now I'm gonna go back into Swamper. We're definitely gonna go for Rock Slide. All right, back into Chestnut. Yep, Wood Hammer. Ow, that did so much. And then we just go for the Flamethrower. Okay, that's fine by me. Burn, 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 burn. Ah, oh, no burn. All right, Breaking Swipe, I'm fine with that too. I'm gonna go for the Swords Dance while it swaps. This should help a lot. And we should be faster. Yes! Yes! Okay, Melodic down, let's go. All right, Drudagon. This will probably take two hits. Yep. Dragon Hammer. Oh, wow, that did nothing. Yeah, let's go, Gliscor. Chestnut's out again. X's are again. Bam, goodbye, Chestnut. Gliscor, again, is really putting in the work here. I never would have thought that Gliscor could do this good. And then the Guard Chomp. We're gonna go for the x -Zer. Up. Revive with the Reviver Seed. No, Gliscor. It's fine, though. We win. Ow, that was a big crit. GG, let's go. That was a rough one. Wow, we're already level 81 and we're in floor 96. I really can't gauge when this is gonna end, but it will be very nice if we can make it far. Avalanche. So if I don't have an ice type Pokemon, having ice type coverage would still be good. Cause if we have to fight that Garchomp again, then Swamper would be the perfect fit for that. After choosing to go to the ice cave and sweeping it because Skeldurge, well, exists, my chat started trolling a bit to make up for their spoilers from earlier. It's delivered! I delivered the present! Delibert OP, trust? Are we actually legit? <laughs> I mean, I haven't been using Altaria that much. It would be very funny if this were true, or if you guys are just trying to sell me something. I just don't know whether to trust you or not. You say that you want me to suffer, and then at the same time, you say that you want me to succeed? What side are you on? Fine, how about this? If this survives a snarl, it's fate, okay? Never mind, it died. <laughs> All right, we could get a round two at Delibird. <laughs> All right, y'all are making a really big deal out of this, and now I just want to see what happens. After falling into their trap, I fell into yet another pitfall. Ooh. I don't have a fairy type on the team. Oh, it survived. We can still catch it. I won't put it on the team, but I'll still catch it. 
All right, caught. It has a roar veil, which is nice, but we don't have any way to set up the hail. So uh, we are not going to take this. Fun fact, gullible is not a word in the dictionary. You should check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you did, you did troll me. Don't worry, I need to fight at a handicap anyway. Ain't no way you said you need a disadvantage. <laughs> I'm trolling you, I'm trolling you. If you troll me, I get to troll you, okay? Gliscor with a coverage move would be pretty good. I think Ice Fang would actually go pretty hard. Guard of War! Honestly, I think I'm gonna take this. Cause you guys trolled me with the Delibird. So maybe having a Psychic Fairy would be a good catch. And I could get Mega Guard of War. Nice! Goodbye, Delibird! And waiting for me on floor 145 was my scariest challenge yet. <laughs> and she just went dot 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 dot. <laughs> Chestnut, as ex Oh, it's a boss. And Dauntless Shield. Oh, goodness gravy. Okay, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. I get the free sword stance, baby. That's free. Crab Hammer. All right, one down. Ba, da, 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 da. All right, there it is. Boom! One shot the shiny boss Rayquaza. The power of Gliscor. The doubters. <laughs> but it's not over yet. It's not over till it's over. Melodic? X Scissor. Yeah, Hydro Pump's probably gonna kill me. That's fine by me. So I think I go Torterra here. Yep, it went out into Chestnut. That still did a lot. Woodhammer again. Yep, yep, go ahead. Goodbye. Ba, 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 da, da. Ba, 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 ba. All right, Melodic's back. Stone's dug into it. Earthquake. Misses the Hydro Pump. One to go, baby. <laughs> All the doubters. GG, 145, first try. Boom. Yeah, it was clutch that I had the Ice Fang. The moment that I had the Memory Mushroom, I was like, okay, I absolutely need to take this because I have no ice type Pokemon. And you guys tricked me into taking the Delibird, right? So I needed something and that worked out perfectly. After my sweeping victory, I beat floor 150 and called it my second day on my first roguelike adventure. Day three. You aren't ready for what Ivy brings in her next appearance? I do have a theory. You know, we have the Mega Bracelet and we have the Dynamax Band. We don't have a Terra Orb, so we don't have access to Terrastalizing right now. But she has at least Terra with her starter and now she has a Rayquaza which is a Pokemon that can mega evolve so I'm thinking 195 is probably going to be a mega Rayquaza and if she keeps the majority of her team that she's kept the entire time then we can just reuse the same strategy that we have with Gliscor and if she happens to swap out into a mega Rayquaza I could probably one shot it and then my second little theory if 200 ends up being the final floor it would make sense to me me that the final fight would use all of the mechanics. So it would use Terra, it would use Mega Pokemon, and it would use the Dynamax Band. That is what I would expect. It would probably be a champion of some sort. I blasted through floors 151 to 169 to fight the next gym leader, Piers, which Gardevoir just completely swept through. But despite the easy gym, nothing could have prepared me for what was up next. We're getting lots of trainers. Oh. Hi! I absolutely love writing about trainers who come here and the Pokemon they train. Elite Four! Okay. Okay. That's fine. Oh, defense fell. Heat wave. I don't think that'll kill me. That's a drip limb. Just don't burn me. Nice. This split drains your bank. I'm assuming it will, so I'm going to be very careful here. I just don't have any super effective damage. I think I go for Swamper here. Fiery Dance! Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Cofagragus? Okay, this is a non terrid one. I'm going to go Garganacle. Infernal Parade? Okay, I got Purifying Salt. Golurk? I'm glad I did that. So now it's going to go for a Ground-type move. So I think I'm going to go for Gliscor. Earthquake, and I'm gonna sword stance. And then I'm going to crab hammer. Ooh, that did nothing. Shadow ball, we should be fine. Ooh! Come on, crab hammer. Nice. 
Oh, yeah, multiple Terras. Oh, gosh. All right, come on, Crab Hammer. Poltergeist. Oh, no, the Reviver Seed. I didn't notice that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Again, we go Garganackle. Yep, that's fine by me. So I think I go into Torterra because we'll resist. Earthquake. That's fine. Yeah, Chandelure. I probably should have gone for Earthquake then, but Crunch could still kill. Ah, oh, it's not going to kill. Uh, Spatak and Spadef Rose. Oh, gosh. Back into... S no. It's got a speed boost. Hidden Power? That did do a lot of damage, though. I think it's going to swap out because I'm super effective against it. That's what this AI has been this whole time. Yes! All right, and this time we got the EQ going. Boom. I'm going to go for Swampert, and we're going to go for Surf. Ooh! Earthquake. All right, and the stones are pointed into it. It doesn't have its boosts anymore. I guess I just have to go for the Earthquake here. Nice. We just got an Earthquake. Okay, Infernal Parade. That's fine. I still kill it. Yeah, I still kill it. I'm going to die of the burn, but I still kill it. And we're going to go into Gardevoir because we're speedy. And we're going to go for the Psychic. Oh, we're Gardevoir. We tank those. Get out of here. Woo. That was scary, guys. After patching up my team, I hatched some of my eggs and... Uh oh! We finally hatched a shiny. It is a Lolan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. Oh, Relic Gold grants a <laughs> And with potentially another Elite Four member coming up within the next couple of floors, like, let me think, let me think. If Ivy is on floor 195, that means every four floors, there has to be an Elite Four member before her. So that means we definitely need the money. Oh, never mind. It might be just right now, every two floors. Oh boy. My mentor, Alder, sees your potential as a trainer and is taking an interest in you. Polyrath. I don't really have much for this. Dynamic Punch! Oh no. Okay, good. We hit the Earthquake. That's fine. Uh, accumulate a total of 100k. That's funny. Torterra. Torterra. If I swapped into Torterra right now, he would swap out of the Polyrath and into something else and I get a free hit on it or a Leech Seed. Rock Climb? Oh, that's a normal type move. And then I'm just gonna go Wood Hammer for free damage. Free damage, baby. Very good, a crit. Wood Hammer again. Congledor out of the building, let's go. Obviously going into, like this thing is gonna use a fighting type move. Going into Gardevoir would be nice, but this thing has plus 10% speed. It's 85 speed. That's actually, I think as fast as Gardevoir. So no, we're not gonna be faster than it. The move then is to go into Skeledurge. Yeah, no drain punches. Um, and Torch Song. Thunder Punch. Okay, we're, we're solid. Okay. Get two Torch Songs going. It has a speed boost. So there's no way I'm going to be faster. So I need to swap or I lose Skeledurge, which is very valuable because this is a fighting type Elite Four. I swap back into Torterra to force it away. Earth Power. Okay, that's fine by me. Go for Leech Seed. Lilligant. Oh no. Uh, go back into Skeledurge. Torch. Ooh. Oh boy, it's gonna pop a lot of berries. Citrus berry, it's getting pumped. Plus special attack, I don't care. Mine shall, I'm plus one, baby! Get that crap out of here! This thing is still faster. So we go back into Torterra. Earth powered again, like a fool. And we're going to go Leech Seed. We're gonna go in for the Earthquake. Yep, throw. We go back into Skeledurge. Oh, Meteor Mash. Oh, that's fine by me. And go for the Torch Song again. Oh, Slack Off. That's fine by me. I'm getting Special Attack, baby. Meteor Mash. Oh, man, you are throwing, my guy. You are throwing. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. Goodbye. Do we have any fainted Pokemon yet? No, we don't. <laughs> I'm a god gamer, baby. Go for the Leech Seed again. Back into Sock and back into Skeledurge. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. Let's go! All right, Polyrath again. Polyrath, you are just a coward. You keep running. You will die by my hand. Goodbye! All right, and then the Lilligant, and we just go for the EQ. And goodbye. 184. Done. 
Man, we have 118k too. He doesn't know about the upcoming threats. <laughs> you say that and yet I am perfectly fine. I'm perfectly comfortable right now. That may be cockiness speaking, but I'm doing pretty hot right now, I think. Grimsley. The winner takes everything and there's nothing left for the loser. Oh, mama. That's a problem. I don't have any resistances. The winner takes it all. We can tank one. Oh, grassy terrain? Okay, I'm fine with that. You go ahead. And then we're just going to Woodhammer. Ooh! One shot the Meowskarada. Scrafty. Um, Gardevoir. Moxie. So we do not want to die here. King Gambit. I should have expected that. You're going to go for a steel type move. Stella Dirge is a bit risky. Swampert, I think, is better. Yep, Iron Head. That does nothing to me. And now the grass is gone, so EQ is going to do way more. Hound Doom. Ooh! Focus Band. Okay, that's fine by me. You have to have something against me, but I doubt it. Yeah, you swapped again. Okay, let's go. That was a bad swap, my guy. This thing has Moxie. I need to go for damage, I think. Oh, and I'm faster. Okay, good. Oh, so close. Double edge? That's fine. All right. Crocodile. So you're still going to go for a ground type move. So I'm going to go into Gliscor. And I have Ice Fang. Oh, okay. You have Crunch, but that's fine. I could actually go for Xs or for more damage. I could have Swords Danced as well. That probably would have been nice. You're still going to go for the Iron Head again. So I'm going to go into Skeleturge. Oh, no! Okay, we lived. Whew, my god, Skeledurge. I'm so glad you have so much defense. Houndoom, you're definitely faster than me. We are running low on the HP department. So I go Swamper to sack it. Yeah, Shadow Ball. Then we go into Garganackle, and you have a Scrafty left. So we go for the EQ. Oh no, sorry, King Gambit. You have a King Gambit left. So we go for the EQ. Ooh. I don't need Torterra anymore. Yeah, I went for Iron Head. All right. Gardevoir guaranteed outspeeds. Okay. And then the final one is Houndoom. Oh! Bam, baby! 18k. Beautiful. It's me who appeared when the flower opened up. You who have been waiting. You look like a Pokemon trainer with refined strength and deepened kindness. What I look for in my opponent is superb strength. Please unleash your power to the fullest. Sigilyph. Leech Seed turn one. A regular Sigilyph out of a, a Terra Sigilyph. Oh, Magic Guard. Okay, that's a bit rough for me. And you definitely have Air Slash or something like that. I'm going to go into Garganackle, actually. Freezing Glare. Ooh, we're going to go for Stealth Rocks. We're going to get that right off the bat. You're going to go for a Steel type move. So I think now is the time that we go for the Torch Song. Torch Song? If you want to swap, you... Oh, Magic Guard. They do have a lot of Magic Guard Pokemon. Ooh, double Torch Song, baby. Okay. Got the tell. Shadow Ball. Get that crap out of here. Musharna? Get that crap out of here. Why'd you forewarn the flamethrower? You should have forewarn the shadow balls. Sigilyph again. Got him. Sigilyph again. Shadow ball again. I just, whoa, that was a lot, but I don't care. I don't care. Skeledurge sweep, baby. What's her final one? Oh, Bronzong, right. I'm plus two special attack, baby. You're going down. Easiest Elite Four so far. All right, so that means the final fight has to be Alder. Or at least 190 has to be Alder. Ah, oh, Champion Alder would like to battle. Slurpuff? Well, isn't that just perfect for me? Buffalant? I don't care. I'm faster than a Buffalant. Get out of here. Da 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 we are at plus two in the sun. Boom! Already two down. Volcarona. But we are at plus three right now. Oh, 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 ow, 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 
Slurpuff again. Torch Song again, baby! Get these guaranteed kills. Man, Skeleturge is a monster. I've never had the opportunity to use this. It is gonna be faster than me. What can it do to me realistically though? It probably has a dark type move. I'll take the L if it has a dark type move. Agility, let's go! One final Pokemon, Conkelder. Conkelder, D's nuts, bro! <laughs> oh man, we're 191! And we get the free heal. Oh my god. It's Sky Tower! Oh my god. This is the end. This is actually the end. Da 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 Don't I want to catch these guys? Honestly, I don't care right now. If I try to catch them, I'm going to lose HP. And I need my resources. Because 195 is on the horizon. But you said it won't waste a turn? I don't wanna. Okay, an Unseen Force prevents using Pokeballs. Okay, good. Can we beat this on the first try? I'm feeling nervous, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling I'm feeling nervous. And now, at floor 195, as the nerves slowly built up within me, it was time to fight our rival one final time. So it's just us again. You know, I keep going around and around in my head. There's something to all this. Why everything seems so strange now. I just can't help but feel there's a greater purpose to all this. To what we're doing, you and I. I think I'm supposed to push you to your limits. It's something about this strange and dreadful place. Everything seems so clear. You need to keep pushing because if you don't, it will never end. You're the only one who can- we, You're the only one who can do this. If you can't defeat me here and now, you won't stand a chance. <sighs> My heart is going through the fucking roof right now. All right, Chestnut. Sword Dance, you're going into Corviknight. This time you're a boss. I'm gonna set up two. Crab hammer, go! All right, that's one, I don't care. Crab hammer, go! Okay, now out comes the Rayquaza. Possibly Mega Rayquaza. Yes, it's a Mega Rayquaza. <sighs> okay, oh, wait, the Delta Stream, what does that do again? It cancels out flying types weaknesses. So that means it's only gonna be one time super effective. Hurricane. Oh, fuck. There goes that. Salt Cure. Chestnut. Going out into Skeleturge. You're gonna swap out into Rayquaza again. Oh, you're going to Arcanine. That's actually perfectly fine by me. Stealth Rock. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Gardevoir. What is your special defense? 478. Because it's too risky to go to Torterra. Because we're going to just get absolutely annihilated. I could get a Moonblast lower. Or I can go for Calm Minds. And... Oh! Hydro Pump missed! Calm Mind. Yeah, fuck you! Okay, and you're not doing it again. That's perfectly fine by me. I'm going to get two set up. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Moonblast. We're plus two. Plus two Spadeth. Okay. Moonblast. Into Arcanine, okay. You are gonna be faster than me though. Oh, that's so close. This fight required so much thinking about what to swap into, so I could get myself into a position to kill the Mega Rayquaza. Swap after swap, I kept swapping until. Misses the Hurricane! Oh my God. And we got the Leech Seed off. We gotta go for the Avalanche. Avalanche will kill. Yes, come on! Let's get rid of this fucker! Oh my god! So it's gonna continue going for Outrage. Going for Outrage again. It has no more berries. Moonblast. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Get out of here! Get that crap out of here! <laughs> go for the wood hammer. And then we're gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Oh my god. <laughs> we win! Floor 195! Only five 
floors to go, baby! <laughs> this is the first attempt. Let him stay cocky. We'll see what happens. I don't know what the final fight's gonna be because we already fought a champion. So I don't know. I, I think I fulfilled my purpose. Promise me, after you heal the world, please come home safe. Thank you. And if my day couldn't get any better, we could re-roll for a rare candy. That'd be pretty funny. It's only 5k. Yeah, fuck it. It's over! On the final five floors, we got a mega swampert! I'm legitimately shaking, guys. After traversing the final five floors, it was time for the fight to the finish. Who's it gonna be? That's not a trainer. That's an Eternatus. It appears the time has finally come once again. You know why you have come here, do you not? You were drawn here because you have been here before countless times. I mean, I've, I've, been, I've been here only once. This is my first time here, sir. I think you got the wrong person. Though perhaps it can be counted. To be precise, this is in fact your 5,643,853rd cycle. That's very sans Undertale of them, huh? <laughs> Will you finally prove a formidable challenge to me? The challenge I have longed for for millennia? We begin. Oh, we at least get to swap. That's nice of them. This is definitely two phases. Eterna Beam, that does a lot. We're gonna do a lot though. Oh my. Let me double check what Eterna Beam does again. It is 160 power. User can't move on the next turn. All right, well, if you're not lying to me, all right, good. Ooh! I see. The presence I felt was indeed real. It appears I no longer need to hold back. Do not disappoint me. There it is. Um. Oh my, our items got absorbed. Um. Um, excuse me, sir. So you're gonna take all my items. Interesting. So good thing I have no items. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> All right, I gotta go for Avalanche here and Snarl. Dynamax Cannon, yeah, that's gonna do a lot, but I'm gonna do Snarl to lower its special attack. I go into Torterra, I Leech Seed, and I Snarl again. We're just gonna keep lowering your special attack into the grave. Tennis, Tennis. So now we're gonna Salt Cure. Dennis, Dennis. See, I didn't think that we would get a double battle out of this. I think this is actually very unfair. <laughs> holy! Holy shit! You're minus one right now. Dynamax can can't do shit. Oh my god. Unless there is a round two, I win. Is it dead? Magnificent. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Poke Rogue done on the first attempt! G fucking G! <laughs> Let's go! Let's fucking go! What took other people two, three, ten, twenty attempts, I managed to do on my first try. And I have never played a roguelike before and this game was completely and utterly fantastic. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it does wonders for the YouTube algorithm. And also check out my Twitch. I'm gonna be doing my first endless runs on Twitch, so make sure to come on by. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.